Derek Jones. Lisa Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes of 4 3 2019 regular session. I move to approve the minutes of April 3rd, 2019. A second. There's a motion a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion here. One abstain? Yep. Citizens input. Since there's no citizens input, we'll move on to old business. Attorney report. Uh, last time I talked about a photo release that I got that around. Um, it's basically a permission slip, if you will. Um, I sent that to the gal at the Red Door Marketing and sent a copy of the lease as well. Um, started work with this EMS fitness agreement, and I note that uh, Sarah also put together some bylaws. Um, looks good. Um, haven't reviewed those yet, but we'll be taking a look at those, and I'm working again with Sarah on this fitness agreement to try to get that thing nailed down. It's all I had to report, but I see that the next item is this resolution that I just got put together as well, and so I can be done with the report and move into that if you like. Motion to accept the attorney report. I'll make a motion to accept the attorney report. Second. Second. All in favor? Signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Resolution 2019 4 grant programs. I made, I made copies just to make sure that, because it was my fault, I attached an incorrect document when I sent out my first email. So I made copies just to make sure everybody's looking at what they need to be looking at. But I think you've seen a lot of this information before. The resolution, all it does is adopt by reference um, the application that Mark has put together and, and we took a look at those. And then there's, there's guidelines, if you will, that are really uh, become mandates. The application is filled out by a, a business owner or a business uh, a building owner, I should say, downtown. Once they do that, if it's approved and accepted, that becomes a binding contract. They're obligated to follow the parameters of the, of the guidelines. Um, and that's what you have there. I know that in your packets was an application that somebody has already filled out. I think Dave and I think Mark can help out here if needed, but I think they just filled out a, an earlier version of that application, and that's that's not that's not the finished product. That's not what is attached right now that you're looking at in that resolution. So in other words, ignore what you see that was completed and turned in. They're going to have to at least replace the second page and sign that to to make that effective. see a difference between an existing business and a new business with the requirements on the application. An existing business has history. They can give references, business references. A new business, it would need to be personal references, personal information, their personal social security number, credit history. I think credit history on both. You can get a business credit history. Credit report. I think those are important. I think we want businesses that are paying their payroll taxes, that are paying their rent. I think that's the type of business we want. And in some way, we need to find that out. I think there does there needs to be more references, more research done. And on the business side, we're just handing them the money. 
there's no receipts, no work done. There's no receipts being turned in for the money. It's just they give us an estimate and we hand them ten thousand dollars. Up to it's a grant. I mean that's more or less how you're looking at it. So and the building owner, they have to have estimates mm -hmm. by licensed contractors. Licensed contractors <coughs> have to do the work. <coughs> to me that's more I feel more comfortable with that than just somebody coming in and saying, I'm a business. I'd like this money. I think we need to have more documentation. I definitely don't disagree on more documentation. Um, I mean, references, I, I don't really see the point of I'm not going to be calling up these people's references. I will. I almost called some today. <laughs> I mean, I well, know. sure, but I mean, I don't, I don't, I tend not to trust references just because they're going to put down somebody that's going to give them a good rep. And so references are, the credit history, totally, I mean, that's, that's worth the effort, but I don't know, I mean, we, how, how, how unattractive do we have to make the application look before we start getting businesses to be turned away? Because I know several times I've stopped my own small business ideas because of the size of the app, you know, applications for some banks, bank loans. So like this isn't worth it. I got I'm gonna take a step back and reanalyze my my focus. That's just coming from me, though. I'm 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 pretty young. I haven't done this very many times. So. Well, I agree. We should we should have credit references. Uh, you know, people have filed bankruptcy here and they filed bankruptcy there. They right. moved around. So they come here and all of a sudden they're going to take 10,000 of our dollars and then they're going to file bankruptcy. And then there's nothing you can do about it. Sure. Now one thing you said, Suzanne, I, I, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about here, but I don't think you can request or require them to give you their social security number. I don't think you can do that. Because the government can't do it no more legally. You, you don't have to give it on anything. So. Then they need to supply credit scores or something. The, the, right, but, but there, there are certain things that we can't do, but then again, like Dylan said, you know, we're going to make it so unattractive that people say, well, you know, I'd like to go, but Argus has got to... I don't think three pages is unattractive. Well, it's, it's not, not, but it's all, it is an incentive program. And right. I mean, it's, I, you look at it two ways. We've got a building now we're trying to sell. I mean, we could end up giving somebody $15 million, and we're going to, we're going to look at less information on that than we're going to get from somebody wanting 10000 Yeah. So, I, and the whole thing with the social, I, I'm not sure, the only thing I'm going to tell you, it has to be a business, so they're going to give you their federal tax ID. Right, they have a tax ID. So, I, I mean, you could, I guess unless we want a personal guarantee on this, I, that's the only way you're going to be able to add somebody's name in SOCH. Yeah, I'm on board with that. So and, I, and I don't have an answer. I mean, this is the reason, the whole reason we're doing this is to look forward. Don't worry about what's happening today. I mean, this is develop a program that'll go forward from today. We may do all this work and never have another person apply for it. You may have 10 applications a year. I'm just saying so. But why does the building owner have to do the work first then turn in the receipts afterwards? Because that's how they did it with, off the one I copied from Calder. Then why does the <laughs> business owner get the money? Because the one I copied from Anderson, they didn't want that. <laughs> I, I, I would want that. There's not, I mean, you can't, because they could use it for product. They could use, I mean, it's more or less just a grant for them to get started in their business. I, that side of it I look at, and I, I guess I don't see the, the need, but to give it to a building owner, I mean, you're going to want them to, to put it into their building downtown. Mark is a rest of the MC. He said you want to say something. Yeah, I just... <clears throat> Yeah, you want the building owner to put the money in the building. You want the business owner to put the money in the business. How do you know he put the money in the business? You know, he might get, you know, the idea is we're going to give you $10,000. To put $10,000 in the business, all we want is verification that you spent the $10,000 on the business. That's fair enough. Right, man? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Well, I mean, I definitely, yeah, that's not a bad idea. You can give them the time. It wouldn't be... Would it be plausible to give them a time length after they completed their project to come up with the receipts? If not, you know, 
you know, that contract, you know, the one year requires some kind of What's the one? refund of the, you know, the funds or something. I mean, would that be too difficult to do as well? I mean, you can make it like the other one. They've got a year to complete the project, and it shows what they have to do to to qualify. I would personally treat it like a construction loan. Here's your ten thousand dollars credit, and as you bring us the receipts, we'll write you a check. That's an easy way of doing it. Kind of like that myself. Yeah. Yes, I can be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to all this. I, it doesn't matter to me one way or another. I'm what, I, mean, I just need to know how to change it because then it won't be a grant program. Well, right, yeah. I mean, once you get to so, the extension that they have, they have to provide receipts at that certain point, you know, then it's not really going to be an incentive for people to start businesses here. It's going to be more or less for. I mean, where are they get, gathering money in the first place? I mean, obviously they have enough money to try and get a the rent for the building or something along those lines, but I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it. I, I don't, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's asking too much, everyone, to expect to see some sort of accountability for the dollars. Somehow. I really don't think that's too much to ask. We did when we did our first project. Yes. Besides, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and for the building, and you can do that exact same thing on this other one. I mean, for the building one, they've got to provide, obviously, more or less an update of the project. You can make them supply pictures. That's what this one says for the one. They can bring you all their invoices. At the end, you can make an, make something like that. Like I said, this was all plagiarized. I, the, You're doing exactly what you need to do because I can't. All I could do was find all the information and compile what I could. If you're so. going in for a bank loan, you have to give all kinds of information. Mm -hmm. And that's to, you know, to pay the money back. Here we're just handing them a check for 10000 I think they can provide us some information. Some, but you also look at a grant. I mean, you don't have to put tons of, so that's what I'm saying. It's not a bank loan. I don't know if you want to treat it like that because you're no, going to have people. No, it's not a bank loan. But the, the invoice, I see what you're saying. So if they can, because they give you a sheet, you know what, we spent $25,000. And I get that. So at the end, why don't you just provide us with all your, your information, what you did. And I, it's part of getting that. I can see that. You're going to run into then, I mean, your only question you're going to ask, so is this an upfront grant? Are you going to pay it back as they turn stuff in? Something you guys need to ask yourself so we can add, how to add that, what? I've not paid here long enough when they town has got any grants or anything, and I'm, I've never read one. So what did, when you're applying for a grant, like we are at Bell what, what do you have to give them? That's why we have these loans out for the writers are going to sell houses they owe money on us. But even with a grant, if you think about it, after you, after you get a grant, mm -hmm. you've got a time period, I don't know how long, so long after right. that they have to, to more or less give the information on how it's gone, what they've done. So, I mean, that would be virtually the same thing. I can see that. Could like you business the property? Like. I don't know how you would link it. Like, it's not really a payment. I mean, that's, you would have to answer that, but. You know, I mean, it's, it's then what, what you got to link them? Yeah. Or, or, I'm with Because the problem, I mean, you look so at this anyway. $10,000, they put $5,000 in their pocket, the rest and say they spent $10,000. Right. I mean, you but have to no proof. Some of this is just going to be risk. Right. You know what? Jamie and I had this talk the other day. Somebody could buy that building for $5 million. They could move it in today. We give them all sorts of crap. In a year, they're bankrupt, and there's nothing. I mean, you don't know as well. Unless you get something signed by a personal guarantee, these corporations are done once they're gone. It's just a risk you take. So, I mean, that's why when you go through the application process, maybe there's somewhere in there you sit down with these people and you interview them. I don't know. I mean, that's what you're doing exactly what you need to do. Well, we definitely want to hear face-to-face before I even accept that a grant. But, yeah, I mean, as much as I'd, I'd like to see grants be available here, I don't, I don't see it being very effective right now where Argus is. I mean, we do have our, we're spread pretty thin financially as well. We 
you know, I wouldn't, I don't know, I mean, I hold some accountability, maybe for a new business grant, for new business people, you know, owners to have to establish something, qualify that as a grant, but, um, I don't know, I, I'm kind of on board with these guys right now, of having some kind of accountability for both of them, at least for the time being. I feel better with the building one because there is some, there's some receipts needed and it has to be licensed contractors. There is a clear difference as I read through that. I agree with you, Suzanne. There's, there's a clear the difference between both of those. Mm -hmm. On the business side, there's nothing required. I don't know. I mean, well, I guess the biggest important part here is trying to work with the lockhouse and like seeing what we're going to do with them considering they already have an application here. The application is not complete. It should not have come to the council. It should have gotten this far because it's not complete. Okay, so what's the next step for helping them? What, what because clearly they're, they're reaching out so we can, mm -hmm. yes, we can help them. We can't just dump them off and say, hey, this is your, still your problem. You know? But they, okay, the business, or they should be able to secure traditional financing. That's part of what is in here. So if they're really desperate, they should be able to get a line of credit from the bank. Sure, but mm -hmm. that's also a lot lengthier process than what the reception was given here. So, I mean... We haven't even passed the resolution. We should not be promising anything to anyone. We're not promising anything. But we're not, we're not also... You know, reassuring them that we're just going to dump them. Hey, we're working on this. I'm not saying this. we're dumping them. I'm saying they have to. Well, it's, you know, yeah, I'm okay. I'll notify them then that we need to work work on it or something along those lines. I think that's fair to them. So they need to be at least notified. And, and I'm not worried about that application, right? This, wait a second, you can talk about that in a minute. I guess more talk about this resolution, what we need to get put into yeah. it yeah. so that at the next meeting we can, next meeting, meeting after that, whenever we can. And don't think today, think, like I said, this is also down the road. We so. can't be, I'm trying to make this fit in one business. This has to be like <coughs> down the road for any business that comes in. And to me, the requirements for a new business are going to be very different than the requirements for an existing business that's expanding. Existing business has a track record. <coughs> they have suppliers they work with. There should be tax records, making sure they're paying more payroll taxes making sure they're paying their rent on time. I mean, there's a track record there that should be researched and looked into because we did say the applications are researched on a case-by-case -case basis, so that does need to be done. Now, a new business is going to be different because they are not going to have a track record. So we are going to have to do some tracking on the individuals that are putting the new business together. So I think the requirements would be different. That's how I, I mean, Suzanne and I are on board of having a workshop. <coughs> we need to try and figure this, the, you know, okay. I don't know. I mean, we need something, but I'm kind of on board with hers. You know, existing and new businesses are kind of two different pieces. Mm -hmm. Sure, boss, Randy. Yeah, we've got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. It was just say that class resolution 2019 that before. Uh, we may end up hurting ourselves on that. So let's have a workshop. Because, again, and I think everybody knows that, if, if your business has been here and you want to move and you want to expand or whatever, yeah, you've got a record. We, we can, you know, but I keep thinking Joe Smo coming in here and we don't know what he's got. Right. And we don't know what he's going to do it, but you take a risk. You take a risk, like Mark said, we're, we're still in building, we're taking a risk. We're taking a risk with everything, but we don't have to we forcibly take that risk. We, we can approach it with some right. backing and, and keep ourselves from getting... An uh, educated risk, or how yeah, do right, say? right, an educated <laughs> risk, maybe, yeah. Okay, that's, that's Sean, what's up here? What do you think? Well, I, I, I agree with the others on most everything. I, 
As far as existing businesses go, my opinion is I don't think we need to over complicate the wheel here. I mean, no. We've got a proven track record in town. We pretty much, it's a small enough town, we pretty much know everybody. I don't think we need to get or crazy with existing businesses that are already here. Now, I do agree with new businesses that we probably need to have more information on them. Like Suzanne says, you know, we probably should take a look at whether they're paying their payroll taxes and they're paying their that kind of stuff. Um, again, for both programs, I feel there needs to be accountability. One there is, but the other one is kind of lacking. Well, and this is going to be a new, you guys are going to be, like I said, there weren't many of these. I understand. I think I found two in the state that were at least online, Terre Haute and Anderson, that did a business. Now, there were facades and that type of thing, but the actual business side of it, there weren't many. I like the direction we're going as for the town, and I appreciate your work, Mark. Um, but I agree, I, I would like to see us try to hash some of this stuff out in a workshop uh, in, with you, including you, or if you could find the time. Uh, so that, I guess that's where I'm at, is trying to figure a time for a workshop that we can all be here. Okay, it looks like the consensus says they want a workshop before we move on to this. I'm going to set up a workshop. It's just one thing. Yeah, it's not the top time right here. I shouldn't say just what we're doing, it's just like. Yeah. How are you going to say that? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of what we need. Yeah. First and 15th. Oh my God. I'm pretty much open next week. What's next Monday look like for everybody? You know, no. Nope. The 29th and the 22nd. Second. I'm enjoying it. What the heck? Well, we do this. I'm pretty much stocked up this mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. We do <laughs> <laughs> the 24th. Oh, it is. Uh, yeah. Oh, we do the 24th. Oh, we do the 24th. Oh, we do the 24th. Next week's probably about the only shot I've got to be being on me. I can't next week. Friday's my only friend. This Friday? No, 26th. 26th. I'm about like her. It's about my close mile on the day. You guys had seen at the workshop <coughs> May 1st that we were going to go over some budget items. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to be ready. Sure. I apologize, but since I'm going to be out of town, um, if you want to take that workshop, and then we can schedule the budget. Well, at this point. Yeah, yeah. That okay. sounds like a win win. That, yeah, it's up to you guys. Yeah, because we were going to have a workshop anyhow, so. Eight o'clock. Right down here. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Okay. May 1st, 6.30. And if you guys could pencil me on the 15th. Okay. Is that what you said? 6.30 also? If that's what you guys decide that you want to do, 6.30 is fine with me. But okay. 6.30 to 15th. 15th? Yeah, and that's for like the large items that we were talking about, the large budget items that are coming out this year. Okay. Right. Right. Cancel the one after the meeting on the first day? Yeah. I thought, I didn't even think about it not being here for So on the 15th, is that the 632? <laughs> Excuse me. 15 to 6.32? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them 6.30. I'll let everybody know now, I will try my best to make those, but it's very possible I may not be looking at so, Yeah, our jobs now with the spring and summer years, now we're just thinking. My next two months are Well, if you want to make it for after the meeting, too, we can do that. You've got to let me know. Later in the evening, sometimes better than early Yeah. But we'll try. We'll try. It probably won't take very long. 
Let's leave where they're at now. If we see a problem between now and the week, we can always see what happens. Well, you got to let me know before Monday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to other old business. Does anybody have anything else? Update the, what we just talked about, the workshop? Yeah, we'll talk about the thing we did the other night, that meeting with dispatch. And that oh, yeah, go ahead. I'll let you talk about it. We uh, attended the meeting at the Marsh County Dispatch Center last week, George and I and Lisa and Rhonda Davis. Um, there is a lot of confusion countywide about the charges on this. Um, dispatching fees for the different entities in the county. Uh, there was a lot of discussion. I'm not going to get too in-depth with that, but I took away three key notes that stood out to me from the meeting. And One was a consensus that there's a lack of accurate accountability of the dispatched calls by department and the dispatch center's ability to break out that data when inquired upon. In my opinion, to build an outside entity, it is crucial to be able to provide accurate data to those entities and in a timely manner when requested. I think that's something that needs to be pushed to them uh, sternly. And uh, the second thing I noticed was uh, the way the mutual aid calls are currently being charged is actually backwards in everybody else's opinion as well. Um, it needs to be corrected. The responding departments currently are being charged dispatch fees to respond to another department or area's response area of responsibility. Uh, it should be just the other way around. I think that uh, there's a pretty good consensus that that's going to be addressed. Uh, I know George sits on this board, so that's why I'm kind of pushing towards him. <laughs> the third thing, the formula that they're sheriff is using to formulate this billing um, it's causing a great deal of concern for everybody involved uh, there was several discussions about different ways of doing it uh, why they're doing it the way they're doing it so on and so forth one thing that kind of came away from it was there seemed to be a pretty good consensus from everybody public and everybody that was at that meeting that kind of prefer a flat fee charge somehow either by population of the entity or a charge similar to like a, the drainage taxes on your property taxes somehow to fund the dispatch center we got to have it. we can't afford to have dispatchers ourselves here we, we can't afford that but we need to find a better way of trying to see that they're funded properly and it's more equitable and accountable to the different towns and townships so I think those are the three things, George, that I'd like, from my perspective, to be pushed um, and stressed to them that they need to get straightened out. Mm -hmm. And then there was some talk of the town currently has not paid their bill. And uh, there was some talk of paying a partial invoice until they could straighten some of this stuff out. The board agreed. And uh, I think I would be in favor of paying a partial invoice at this time. just to try to keep them running. Uh, they have bills to pay too, just like we do. But uh, I'm not interested in paying the whole invoice yet because they just don't have the accountability that I feel good about it. So, George, I thrown you through a number, I don't remember what it was at this time. But. It's 10 grand out of the 14. I guess that's the rest of the count. I mean, I'm not opposed to paying part of our invoice, whatever that figure is. It was 80, 88. Last year. 8,500 8, last, last year. When I mean, there was going to be a percentage increase. That's only police, though. Right. Yeah. And now it's 14,000. Just police? Just police. And you guys were considering 10, paying 10? I'd go back to the 8. I would say <coughs> even well, oh. They're going to. <laughs> let, them, let them prove that you spent that you but we can, in that $10,000, we can go back and pay some of, some of that could be the township money, mm -hmm. some of that could be the fire EMS money. Oh, so so you, a full time you really, town. you know, right. if, right. We, right. if we oh, okay. round that off, you know, if we include what the townships owe and what the fire and police owe, by the time you got down to it, we probably owe less than 8000 
you know, to in police. And then we just need, I've been working with Corey trying to get something figured out. Because what, what if they come back next year and say, well, we need 600,000 to, you we're in a deficit of 600,000 to run the dispatch center. You know, what do we do then? Well, that, that's going back to my thought. Then we hire our own at that price. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Corey, what did you have back there? So, just going through our radio log from last year, mm -hmm. um, I come up with how many times we did assist, and it was over 359. Now, that was assist for everything that we did outside of town. So, it had to go, and if I type in, you had to do a, I'd have to break it down. I can tell you, it'll, anywhere between 52 to 300 and some calls somewhere in there is how many times we assist in Marco County. And that, it's got to be up there a ways. It's a few hundred. Yeah, man, man. We're, built, we're built for those calls. Yeah. So, yeah. if I, my, that, that, I what I'm saying, we should be done. Right. A fee from um, well, but our believe, service. You see what I'm saying? Believe me, it was a very heated discussion I, by all of the people. And as me sitting on the board, I will yeah. take my brunt of it because nobody could come up with a formula well, that is totally fair. Let's put it that way. I because it would. This let's say I'm going to use um, by population. Heiner, mm -hmm. that, um, Polk Township. Their flat fee for population would be twenty-eight thousand dollars. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. I, 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 I proposed to the police commission our last at last meeting that um, we basically deduct a fee from our service to them. We brought that up. Um, yeah. I, I think it can be substantial. So that's our why service. That's why we're really. We're having a meeting. We're going. Everybody's supposed to come home. We are getting complete sheets on everything mm -hmm. broke down. If we're charged, what is it? Almost seven dollars. Seven dollars and ten. Yeah, seven twenty. So I, I think any time we respond to a call for assistance, I, I, it has to be worth more than seven dollars. It would have to be just for the. Yes, Mr. Police week. Commissioner <coughs> Mark. Yeah. What the, the problem with then we turn around and, and charge them when we do a service for them? It's not going to eventually help us any because that's just going to that's going to still create that deficit for the county. <coughs> We're just going to come back and say, well, we've got this deficit. This needs to be absorbed, and so instead of seven dollars a call, now it's eleven dollars. And we're only paying half of it. Well, it's, it's like a never, you know, just like we're not paying a hundred percent, Mark. Huh? At the, even at the rate we're at now, it is not one hundred percent. I understand. Cost. I understand that. I'm just yeah. saying, <clears throat> the way the county has it constructed right now, it just seems like there's no ceiling for them. Right. There's not. There's because they can just pass it on. You're right. Mm -hmm. There's no cash at all. So no. are they charging like county, like Green Township, Walnut Township? Mm -hmm. Well, how are they doing that? Because those no, people no, no, already no, no, pay. No. They're they not, pay taxes. They, they, yeah, they, they like they pay, taxation. <laughs> the townships pay for fire and EMS only. Yeah. The city pays for the city police. Okay. No, that's what I mean. So they don't charge, like Green Township won't give them a check for county police. Our beef, yeah. that's what's our beef okay. was is when no. there's a call in the county. <coughs> yeah, I know. You call the county that. and he's called out, he's the first one to respond. We get charged for that call and it should be the county's responsibility and they should be the yeah. ones to take that charge. We shouldn't be getting charged. Well, my question is, so no, 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 back, back up, back up. When they're dispatched, first of all, through 911, it's not a chargeable call. Right. It's only after you get on scene and you then use trans, the, the services. Well, you think. You don't know. In any case, even after you're on scene, you're going to make that, a call. That invoice that I saw was a joke. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, it was brought up in good paid standing. We threw the number out of 10 grand. You guys can vote what you want to pay. Do you want to pay the 8000 we paid last year, or do you want to go up to 10 grand? I feel we, we paid last year, and everybody else is paid. We're one of the only ones that hasn't paid. Everybody else has paid their debt. The paths and us are the only ones that have a better bill. Do you really feel so, though that we owe them more than eight thousand? Do you really feel that we owe them ten thousand? Well, they're kind of a two-way street. Yeah, it's, I mean, because you you bought too much, and they can look at you and say, 
A dispatch center is going to cost you three hundred fifty thousand well, dollars a year. That's where they needed some kind of a cap put on things. But we're getting a charge. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board with Mark. Yeah. And where's where's it start? And, Are we no, no, I think going to have to. I think he's right when he's saying pay something, and then you're working on trying to come up with the. Would it be better to come up with a plan to try and get our own? Because no, there is no, no there's no, no vision for no. Uh, the a season. I, you I know what? Even if they were charged, the city of Plymouth was paying a hundred and it would be different than having police officers twenty four seven seven days a week. You'd be better off to try to get another dispatch somewhere, yeah. Yeah. like Fulton County or Bremen or Stark County or something like that. That was another option. And have the option that too. Right. right. Well, but, yeah. Right. It doesn't anyway, have to be. I guess the city police is dispatched out of the whole district. It doesn't have to be in the county. We have to pay something. There's a bill. You know, we owe it. And we don't want a reputation of not paying our bills. It's how much we're going to pay. I don't think we need to overpay it. I think we need to be conservative until they prove exactly what we owe. Then if, if it's more, we'll make it up. You know, we're not going to beat them out of it. I have, I, I do, Randy, I have a big problem with their accountability. There, well, that, let's make them pay. There, there was so much information being thrown around here that was just, I felt they were just pulling it out of the air. I mean, there was nothing. They can't even go back into their system and pull out accurate data, and that's just wrong. And they can't tell us why they are in a two hundred fifty thousand dollars deficit. Well, so let's you know, let's, let's give them something, George. Let's give them the the jail. That's fine. I just threw that ten thousand dollar number out of him, George. But I can't do it. Did did, did we go into two thousand eighteen in agreement with the county? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then we pay them. Yeah, we have to pay them. I mean, that's that's the ethical thing to do. Then yeah. bench afterwards. Pay up the whole thing? So if we went in that, with that agreement, we owe them the money. And it's not right not to pay them the money. I pay them exactly what they're asking for and then fight with over... Well, you're not going to get your money back. You're just going to have to... That's just the battle. Just concentrate on the war. Well, like I said, we... Yeah. The, 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 the committee... Yeah. yeah. The board agreed on a partial payment until it got figured out. Oh, yeah. Not our board. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, my, not yeah, this board, our board. My, my biggest issue the other night with Mark was the fact that I, I don't think their numbers are accurate. I really believe we're overcharged. And I, I'm not comfortable paying the whole thing because I think it's overcharged and they can't account for it. Now, you know, like I said, the, the committee agreed on taking a partial payment. doesn't mean next month they're not going to say now we want the rest of it. But they agreed to do that until we get this figured out. Let's give them a partial payment. So, so more, more. Yeah, motion to so make a motion. Uh, make a motion that we pay a partial payment to the foundation. I threw out ten thousand dollars to them. I'd still like to say it because I'd like to see they proved that we spent that. Why don't you pay and let me pay the township's portions? It'll come out to around ten. Alright. Make a motion that we pay our aid and to pay the township's portion. And our firey and that. Yeah. Sorry. No second. There's a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor of signals live saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Wow. All right. Anything else? I have one thing. Real quick. I apologize. It's not a thing. But I, okay, so we had three, we have three VZA cases this month coming up. Um, we charge no fees for a VZA application. And the county charges $75 for a BZA application. I spent, on all three of them, I probably spent almost $80, $80 in postage alone. So, because you have to go 300 feet and send a letter to all their neighbors and all of that stuff. We brought it up before about charging a fee on a BZA application. We've kind of let it go. I've had a lot come in, you know, and now I'm just asking if you want to change it or you want to keep paying the fees, paying for the, post the postage and the paper and the time and... What's the, what's the average per... You said you did three of them and it's $80? Or each yeah. one's been $80? Yeah, well, one of them was 25 one of them was like $30 in postage and the other one was like another 30 you know so if it's in town you're hitting neighbors you know what i mean yeah, like you know neighbors. so mm -hmm. if it's out in the country you got to spread it because of the lot sizes so
So I'm, I'm not saying that we have to charge the, you know, but the county charges $75 for a VZA application. I checked with Chuck. And also, you guys are paying Chuck to help us on the VZA. You're paying him to help us on the planning commission. Well, let's just mirror the county fee. I'm just, I'm asking you what you want mirror to do. Mirror the county fee. I'll make a motion that we charge a fee for BZA applications um, equal to the amount of the counties, I believe, is $75. Second. <laughs> I was waiting on that one. <laughs> All in favor of uh, marrying the BZA application of $75? Is that okay? Quick question. Um, is the land use development funds where you're going to find that stuff? Does, what does it say about proposing or charging fees? I don't have it on there. I can't tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, it's, it's not. <laughs> Listen to it. Well, it's not something you need to stop. Maybe well, you read the second but it's, I guess I could. It may require re re a change in that ordinance or changing the land use development code, depending on what that does say. My memory says it, it does say something about that you can charge a fee, but I don't know if it's ever been set or established. But bottom line, it needs to get. You need to look at it. Okay. Right. I'm just saying, don't leave the motion. And then we need to follow through and make sure that we don't need to change the land use development. Okay. There's a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. I think seventy-five dollars. Oh, wow. seven, I think. It cost me a hundred dollars for a missions trip application. If they don't want me, I still pay the hundred bucks. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Any other old business? Yes. Suzanne. Our business directory that Ter Carrie is working on. She is putting out some media information trying to get businesses to respond so this is some of which is going to be now this is in color i have black and white there so this is some of the information she's going to be putting out trying to help businesses get them with her and i think she may be talking to you lisa a little bit about Something here in the office. Oh, this is about getting their, registering their business names for right. the signs. Or right. gotcha. the business director. Right. Yeah, to the make director. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah. This, this is what she's working on right now. At least it's simple. Mm -hmm. I thought this was oh, a color. It was really okay. cute. This is really cute. <laughs> it's pretty good. Good. But she's working on that. That's all I had there. All right. Thank you. Yeah, looks nice straightforward. New business, wastewater for Woodland Trail. Who wants to talk, Mike or Jamie? I guess there was some talk <laughs> last time Good about answer. this. I wasn't at the meeting, so I guess that's where this kind of started. But Mike brought me a lot of information, um, so I'll let him kind of go on with it. I think you were sent quite a bit of this information already, so hopefully he doesn't have a look at it. Yeah, Uh, I believe it was last fall, Mr. Ed Parkes uh, acquired the property and his septic didn't pass the inspection, so he wasn't able to get a loan for the property. Uh, so he inquired about having the town sewer run so he could tie on to. And I found a lot of documentation uh, dated back to 1997 with this issue. Uh, back then, the issue was. The property he actually bought, the septic was leaking raw sewage on top of the ground near one of the neighboring properties near their well. So the Marshall County Health Board got involved back then and they sent a letter to, I believe it was Mr. Hallsburg at the time who owned the property, uh, mandating that he tie onto the town sewer and have his old septic cleaned out and demolished. Well, the problem at the time, there was no existing town sewer for him to tie on, so the Board of Health gave a permit for him to fix his septic system at the time, but they also required that they wanted the town to run a sewer, and then at that time, according to the town ordinances, 
everybody would have a set time frame and they would be mandated to tie on to the town sewer. Well, nobody ran a sewer back then, so it was kind of all left hanging. Well, we ran a sewer, and according to our ordinances, a private property can use and maintain a private septic system until such time that a town sewer line is available. Well, the town sewer line is available now. Uh, according to our ordinance, each property should be notified by a certified letter that the sewer is available and then they have 90 days to tie on to our line. Um, my recommendation, I know nobody wants to give away money, but these, these residents are going to have to, I mean, they're going to have to tie on to our lines so there, there would be a tap fee. Uh, they got to have their old septic tank pumped out and clean, you know, so you're going to acquire money there. They're going to have the fee of running the new line, tying on. There's got to be a water meter put on to all the private wells so we can monitor the flow so we know how much to charge them. And, I mean, all, all the cost, they're, they're going to have an estimated $2,500 expenses in doing all this. It's my recommendation we waive the tap fee to help them out. Um, you know, that's a big burden to throw on somebody all at once, but that, that's kind of where we're at on that. The, the other thing we found back, like, I think it was 1997, this project was uh, done twice. We found prints two, di two different times. I think one yeah, was in there, there was 90 actually, and another 97. Yeah, and 90, there was blueprints whatever. for all this, but so, nobody ever moved the ball forward. This has been paid to be done, you know, engineered everything just never got done so last year we finally did do it now we've kind of found all this other information now too is there six houses is that what i, I believe five that's six, really nice six, five or six so right now ed and is jay stoffer you said is hooked he's on he's already he's so we have two on and no, it's three, three and four. Harshbarger's. Then they're four on? Harshbarger's still on. Calvin's old house? Yeah. Stauffer? Richie and Stauffer's the only ones on. On sewer? Yeah. yeah. Calvin's old house isn't on? Wh which one? That first one. The first one. Big house. From the last one. Yeah, that's, that's tied in. Odell's. Odell's. Yeah. Stauffer's. Um, Miller's. And then the one across the street. That one. We just put the hydrant in. All right, the one across the, the one on the north side is still on a private well or private septic, I believe. Okay. I think there's one, there's five EBs, Harshburger, Stivers across the street, and then Ed. How about EB's not tied on either? No, so I guess what they're trying to tell you, you're going to have to stop people well, that are going to be in The sixth yeah. one would be the one uh, west of oh, EB. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, uh, Three of this? Yeah. yeah. They'd have to tie it to the Well, they can tie it to the front, can't they? There's there's that one dead down by Dollar General, and I don't think there's enough fall for them to reach that one. That one, we've talked about a solution for that. They might have to jet it in. They might actually have to get a pump. A lift station there? Not a lift station. They just a pump for them to, to send it to us. Well, I know we discussed this last time when Ed was in here. And we had talked about, we, I know we told him no, it's just the person coming in. But we forced, pretty much forced the sewer on him by following our own Well, the, the, the Marshall County Health Board was the one that Correct. forced, they wanted the sewer there. We yeah. finally did what we were asked 22 years later. <laughs> but now according to our <laughs> ordinances, since it's there, they have to tie on. Yeah. If I if I remember right too, when we annex a property, we're supposed to take the utilities to it. We we're supposed to do that within three years, I believe. Yes. So That's I don't know when it was annexed, but oh, it's been annexed ever since I've been here. Yeah. That's why I said that the ball was dropped on that until we have an emergency now that we have to come up with. Yeah. Maybe we did our hardest part already. We we ran the line. It's there. 
these people are still on the tap their own well though, correct? For fresh water? I believe yeah. Yeah. all of those are. Yeah. Do does the town have fresh water lines out there in that subdivision? No, they do, but not not to those not all the way through. It goes to the well, height. The area. water thing is a different sewer uh, they just, have to water. I'm just asking the question. Yeah, what, it, but what services we have out there? Because in my mind, if it's annexed, we ought to have our utilities out there, period. We have water. We have water to a certain point. It's yeah. not all the way around. Yeah, correct. Well, I mean, that's, if we have to do it, we can do it. Kind of get some ideas. That, that, was that, that was that repair we had to do two years ago, three years ago. Yeah. The one in the corner? Yeah. yeah. When we went out and we ended up putting a hydrant in halfway yeah. through. So yeah. The biggest thing that prompted this issue in the past was to prevent groundwater contamination. Correct. Correct. If you dump raw sewage by your neighbor as well, there's a good chance somebody's going to get sick. Correct. I feel we dropped the ball. We have it. Okay. The taps are there. They will put in when they when these guys put in the right. taps are there. They're there. Are we we charge them the the or do we say there you go? I guess in this case, in this particular case, since this new information brought the light, I feel that well, so that, that, I mean, there'll be they'll have documentation to, of that, and they'll have to chuck, and then they'll have to come and get a horn, right? And yeah. Meter, and then they'll have to get somebody to put that on for them. So, I mean, they're, they're going to have to do all of that. Are we going to do the 90 days as the states? Well, I think we should. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly. It. I it's think ready. we need to follow our ordinances. Yeah. I'm good there is a motion to waive the tap fees on Woodland Trail and go with uh, make sure we follow our town ordinance. Uh, chapter 108, sewers and wastewater discharge ordinance. Is there a, there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Well, that was for everyone except Ed, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's he's, how we should stay. He's still got to get bored. I wanted to say that. He's still got to say that. Suzanne said That's not expensive. Oh, I, 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 I just I not it's not expensive at all. I said I don't think that's too bad at all. Depends if you got it or not, I guess. Yeah. Hey, the bank's got money. All right, flowers, garden, and landscaping. I threw this stuff out to Lisa uh, about flowers uptown, or pots and plants. I mean, we've done it. Um, then comes the garden out back. Do we have anybody to do the garden anymore? Yes. Yes. You want to do it? No. <laughs> Volunteered to do it, but we—I told them that we would supply the materials. That's so, fine. Just like we did for Dustin's wife. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have—we've always done that. We've always provided seed packets or But I would like to get the sign redone. So if anybody knows an artist, apparently somebody ran it over or something. It is it is demolished. <laughs> so <laughs> take it to the school. The art, the the art department at school. Yeah. Adrian. Yeah. So okay, so we're I don't want okay. to first one. First one. Somebody's got to make a motion to support to. Yes. And what's the cap on the money? What do we have last year? Um, last year it was. A thousand dollars for both. For the flowers. For both and the, the garden and okay. the. It cost me six hundred dollars. More than that to do just the planners, the thirteen planners. That's not including the mums in the fall. Now I've never went beyond a thousand dollars, but that's normally the cap that they put on it. Is there a motion and a second to go ahead and do the garden and the flowers? I'll make that motion. It was a cap of a thousand dollars for both projects. Second. 
All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Now, the problem with planners. Who's taking care of the I do. You do that? Well, Jane helps me. You know, but okay. um, Candy helps me plan on the yeah. Didn't you have Adrian or somebody haul water last year? Oh. The park did it, so. Somebody, yeah. somebody did that. Landscaping of this building. That has been an issue for God, Suzanne and I talked Texas about it. Mark talked about it. It's we really, really, we really we've got plans to have it done. Hmm? We've got plans. I've got some in my files. I was going to say that for years. Hmm? Let's get it done. Does it involve putting the sidewalks in the right place? Do we want to hop in the game? <laughs> no, no, let's, no, let's back up again because we also, who's going to take care of it? I am not a plant person whatsoever. So for me to come in here and trim your hedges, you might as well cut them I don't do it. I'd have to look at it. I, I can't remember what it says. There's trees out front. There's somebody doing some things out. like I that. Price I think just gave us a price. I think it was like $5,500 at one time. That's been three or four years. Yeah, I don't know what the price is. Come in and do it. Trees it went out. But it, it's just, you know, we're... It's Whatever we do, let's make it low maintenance. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. River Rock and Garden Gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> River Rock and Garden Gnomes. <laughs> that help me out here? Pine trees. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can get colorful. So we're, we're going to move on this. So how are we going to do this, people? We're going to throw another. Are we going to do it? Everybody puts in, you know, water, sewer, all this, or just coming out of town. How are we going to do this? Because you, I mean, you're going to be five, six thousand dollars. Oh yeah, easy. Might we pull out the old plan for an estimate? Yeah, could could re uh, submit it to prices and see what they say. So Let's do that. Things have went up. I, I you know, I mean, some trees, a hundred dollars for a tree is a cheap tree anymore. And do we want the whole plan or just pieces of it right. and then add to it as we if get going? you do got plans, you've got I, Some place in my files, I don't uh, I've got them. you got them? Okay, let's do that. Um, let's do that. Let's, get, got, it, let's, let, let's get it. Re, let's take it to prices and get it redone. Okay. Uh, I'd like to see the sidewalks moved. I know you would. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just do that as a backup. Hey, that's what I'm thinking. thinking. Right there's your concrete, man. I just put them where I was told to put them when we built them. <laughs> They're wrong. <laughs> Pick it up and move it. <laughs> All right, well, we're good on those three. Thank goodness. Downtown grant applications. Well, that's on hold. Yeah. yeah. Um, appointment of an economic development director. All right. Do you want to talk on this? Do you want to talk on this? Do you want to talk on this? Good. Mark, throw out your ideas on as a redevelopment, and Randy, you talk about it. An appointment of economic development for that. Basically, we're the way I understand this. We're it's just we're talking about a liaison between us and uh, economic development, whatever. It's not really a. It's not going to be a paid position or anything, but it's, it's going to be someone that can be kind of the voice so the, whoever's in charge uh, could take it to the economic development and talk to them and, and you know, it's just, we, we need somebody, and, and personally I'd like to see Mark Vanderbilt do this because he's been doing it for I don't know how long, but it, it would make it when he's contacting some business and they say, well, who are you? You go on the economic development director. That sounds a little more professional than I'm the guy that kind of helps the town out once in a while. I, I run the local hardware. I mean, you know, we want it, we want it to sound professional. And Marcus put a lot into this. Uh, I, I I think his knowledge and, and, and everything and his commitment has proven that that he's real interested in this. And again, it's just a, a liaison, like being a liaison to the, everything else. So I would like to see it done. And, and again, I would like to see Mark uh, nominated for this and, and given to him. My question: Are there any other contenders? Anybody else willing to be economic director? The pay sucks. 
For, uh, yeah, that's a better question. I guess, I guess, is there anybody else wanting to be an economic director in general? I mean, yeah. What was the job description? I mean, what's really, the liability if he commits the well, town? No, and he won't be able to commit the town. And I've, I've talked with Martin about this a little bit, and Walkerton does have a similar position that you know, he's kind of a jack of all trades, a little different than what Mark would be doing. But, um, this position is something that could be created and it would really be probably an annual appointment by the executive. We've got in our current ordinances that the executive has the authority to create standing committees um, and this would be something that we would kind of follow along those lines or would be included in, in that kind of a uh, arena if you will. But this would be a two-step process. One would be just to create the position. All right, and then the second would be to fill the position, okay. and then the filling the position would probably be something that I would imagine you'd want to do that on an annual basis, because it it may not be marked forever, it may not be marked the first year or the third year, but it's something that would it would be a position to be filled, and it wouldn't always necessarily be marked. You may get tired of doing this stuff, or maybe well, it's work this into long a full time. As he said, Walker Den, as you know, they've got. You may find the perfect person that you end up creating a full-time position. Yeah. I don't have that. I've got a full-time job. The first step, again, is creating the position. And, and, and speaking with him, it would be an unpaid position. And he also would not have, and this person, whoever it would be, doesn't have any authority to bind the town. It's really a, it's really a, a function that they would be in charge of gathering information and making a lot of calls, knocking on doors, talking with people. But ultimately, the decisions would always rest still with the council. So, do we need to develop any kind of resolution? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Create the yeah. decision. Mm -hmm. And to decide if you know if you want to appoint him for three years, you could do that. But I, again, it's up to you how you want to do that. But that's the first objective here is to create the position. Is that considered what you just said about? Yeah. To make that committee, would that be the same as a committee? That I could just say, I want to make the position of economic development director. It's really not a committee when you read that. When you read that order, it's really not a committee. As, as I would see this would be more of a position. Um, and so I just I think maybe a resolution to just say we're creating this position, and these are the responsibilities and some of the, the highlights <coughs> and expectations and responsibilities of this position. Um, create it and then fill it. Okay. So our first step to make it official? Is to make a motion to make a resolution and then everybody throw out what they think the <coughs> responsibilities are by going through our book. I'll make a motion to uh, create a resolution to Create the position of economic director for the town of Barnes. I'll second it. Is there any other discussion? Not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. It's okay with you folks. I can put a resolution together, at least in a draft form, and, and get it to you just so you can look and see what it says. And you want to add to it, you want to take away or change this or that. That's fine. I think that'd be very helpful. Yeah, but it'd be a place to start. Okay. Anything else before we go to department heads? I mentioned I will be going next week. It's the Walk the Olympic Training Initiative in Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. And that is a county program. We won a grant to do this. So I'm learning about walking trails and paths. I hope we can bring some information back to the county. Cool. Good deal. Thank you. You drive or fly? Flying. Oh. <laughs> Eight o'clock Monday morning. Walking, that's the whole idea. Is it walking? <laughs> <laughs> Holy goodness. <laughs> All right, let's move on to department heads. Police department. They should have my report. Um, I don't really have a whole lot. Sean took the one thing I was going to talk about. 
the only other thing I really have was um, um, we just had our deer graduation. Well, was, <coughs> there, I heard you. So if I didn't get everybody's name on the mailing list, um, I'll go ahead and formally invite everybody. It's May 16th, the deer banquet at Christo's. It's 630, and the cost is whatever you want to donate. That's, that's all I have right now. When Dave comes back Monday, he goes into the school. It's all set. Monday? Monday. Monday. So. I would, uh, while we've got Corey on the spot here a little bit, I'd like to <laughs> entertain the council's thoughts about, uh, on his monthly reports, I guess, in my own mind, I would like to see him add a couple of... Uh, reporting areas, so to speak, uh, around the things that we've been talking about, all these off-road vehicles and that, to s just kind of get a feel of if he's having problems with, uh, you know, fines or anything like that, or if he's pulling people over for problems, just so we get an idea of what this ordinance and everything is kind of creating for the town. Sounds good. Okay. I'd like to see you add those to each of the officers that they could report when they stop one and walk, you know, like you have your other criteria on your reports. So just basically anytime we stop a violation for a violation for, for off road vehicle. <coughs> off road vehicle, vehicle off violation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You mean recreational vehicles. Recreational vehicles, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean I can tell you right now it's it's okay. zero first. <laughs> uh, I think we need to see that. <laughs> but I mean that's it's true. Freedom. No, it's a zero. We haven't stopped any. We haven't got this question. What are you seeing? They like the new car? Yes, yes. Everything set other than the, the computer um, needs to be programmed. And um, my car's, and, um, the, the light bar went out, the back went out, so you can't. So it's waiting for the light. I had to order a new bar for lights in the back because you can't see anything. In the back of that, but there's lights in it. But where they've got the factory tent, that's where the lights are. So without that bottom light bar, you, it's, you can't even see it till you write up on it. And we put that in ourselves with extra that we had upstairs, but it was old and it finally gave way. Anybody got questions other than that for Corey? Thank you. Uh, utilities. Uh, you have my report. A couple things. Westview Core, we've been working out there. It's been kind of slow going. It's a mess. Randy can attest to that. I tell you what, these guys, every day I know they go one more out. But they, they've hit a lot of problems. There's been, it's not been a piece of cake. But, you know, they're, they're doing a good job. At least it's getting done. And, it's going to take maybe a little longer than what you thought. What do you do? What do you do? Some of them are short-handed. One of the problems we ran into, um, the banks started washing out on us, so we had, to, we had to tear up some curbs, so we'll have to get that replaced. I think it's around 200 feet, so I don't know if we'll get into more of that as we go. We're, we're in the deepest spot right now, so it should start getting better once we get around the corner. Um, but anyway, that curve will have to have that prior to place before we pay it, so just something coming up. Uh, the other thing I found out, wayfinding signs are done, so we're trying to figure out when, when we can get them in. Um, it's not a big deal, we just got to get up, locate everything, we got to call them locate, so we got to mark everything, so I, whenever I get time, I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, the other thing is, we're trying to replace Harry. I've interviewed, I got a couple good potentials. Um, I've got a second interview tomorrow, so I'm hoping to maybe hire somebody real quick here. Um, one of the things I just want to think about too, and I need to look into this more, but um, when we do budgets, maybe we'll look at if, if we need to put somebody else on too, because I'm, I'm just, I'm shorthanded right now. And I know it kind of goes up and down, but we've got a lot more going on than we've had in a long time, so. And the other thing is it just takes so long to train somebody. You know, if somebody gets hurt, which happened, well, I don't want somebody just to throw into that spot, yeah. you know. And it's, I know it doesn't happen often, but 
I, we just got a lot. Of, we're doing a lot of projects in the house now, and just from <coughs> looking in from the outside, you guys are very good at multitasking here, a lot more than we've ever been. Um, and there again, we still have a bunch of guys that have a big art here. That you know, they if they didn't, they dang sure wouldn't be here. I'm telling you. Um, so there's always something to do, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talk about the, you know, the second person. I guarantee you find some form of there. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. There's, 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 there's no. I mean, there's not going to be what they call. There's, there's always dead time in anything, but there's always something to do. I mean, so I would think real hard on that. That's just me. All the projects, and we can't. Jamie, Jamie hates to tell us no. We've already found that out. <laughs> Well, you know, anyway, we can, uh, I've got them out training at the wastewater or, yeah. you know, doing something in the water just to have another set of eyes if one of these guys gets hurt, sick, whatever. Just we can move people around where we need to. Cross training is key. Yeah. And, you know, when you can find people that are willing to do that and want to learn, it, you know, it's just hard, you know, and finding the right people to fill these jobs because a lot of the guys, when we come in every day, we don't know what we're doing. We have a plan, and most of the time you get sort out the window, and we're running six different directions. So it's just the way it is. I'll tell you, if you found two good candidates, Jamie, we're doing better than most of us because we're having a hard time finding one. And I, I keep hearing that, and you know, I, I found two right now, and I think they'd both be a good fit. I don't know, even if unify from the job, I don't know if they would take it or not. You know, for what we pay because they're making more, but. There, you know, there's some benefits working here too, so that's just something they have to weigh out. But um, right now, you know, I, I'm looking at one for sure, but most of the time you don't get really good qualified candidates either. Do you think it's 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 probable that you'd be able to hire the second individual? I, I don't know, possibly. I think you ought to try to go ahead. Even we don't know for sure with Josh how long he's going to be out and. You guys, just one more thing happens, you know, how much can a handful of people do? You're going into your key season, too. You're trying to get a lot of stuff done. Right. That, that's my thoughts. Is they're, they're shorthanded yeah. now, plus they're down one. And, and there's, there's, there's ways to, to pay for this, for payroll and stuff like that without... Well, you know, if I did hire two full-time now, I probably wouldn't bring out a part-time yeah. at this point, you know. Yeah. Which has its own benefits, so... so. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. I mean, I can offer and see what happens. I say use your best judgment. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree <laughs> that. I say if you can get two good ones, use your judgment. Okay. Yeah, we'll back in. Or at least I will. <laughs> I don't want to see you working with some of these guys completely out, you know. To the, there's, they just can't go anywhere. <clears throat> well, and I, I can fill them anywhere. Just my problem is I'm not able to do some of the things I need to do because I'm a, you, you see me. I, I, and, and listen, people, I, I'm telling you, I'm not that Jamie has anything, but I told you the other day, I said, you're going to get high blood pressure if you keep doing <laughs> I mean, he, and, and that's, you know, Jamie will do anything that needs to be done. If it's him out there and shovel, shovel it while somebody goes eats lunch, I saw him out there doing that. And, you know, we've got a good supervisor. We've not had this in the past, but we've got one now. But if you need help, get some help. Don't, don't kill the guys you've got. Don't kill yourself. Get some help. And hire them in part-time and let them see. You know, like you said, I, I not everybody get, wants to do construction type work or picking up lens. Or, the, the two I have now, I won't get them part-time. Well, get them then. So, that's what I need to know. If it doesn't work out with H2, you got to keep looking at the number of them. That's why I like what Suzanne said. Use your judgment. Yeah. Go back okay. Yeah, well, then if I... You guys are getting a lot so of yeah, I got some testing to do, and if they both look good, I'll, I'll offer them both. Definitely, you can take a backpack, make them blow our weight, take care of all downtown sidewalks. In my house. Okay, thanks. Okay, anything else for Jamie? You tell me. Mike, good, thanks. Fire, we have a report, Mark. Yeah, a report. Um, 
As of last month, we did get that old fire truck. It's sitting out here. It's going to be going here shortly to be start working on it, get it going. Hopefully by the parade. So it does run. We did have it running, so that's a plus. Uh, just gotta get some brakes on it. And, um, that'd be good. Uh, uniforms came in today as well, so I know we talked about that a month or two ago. But those are in today, so um, that's about it. Do you need anything? I always need something. That was a bad question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've been doing some great training too. I think they were, had a house out here in the country that could do some training. Mm -hmm going in and rescuing people and I saw guys sliding down uh, fire hoses and down ladders upside down and it, 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 we have a well-trained fire department. I didn't think I could still do that. I am shocked. <laughs> Mark, I do have something here I want to share with you. I don't want to make it public necessarily at this time. Do but I do, do want you to. You want to do that now or later? I do want you to just take this and look at it yeah. and follow up. I do. We'll talk to you after that. After okay. This. You and Suzanne and Corey and okay. so. uh, you don't want to do that now, but after. Thanks, Mark. Sarah, you're up. Ding ding ding. Okay. As Derek had said, I did submit a draft of the bylaws. Um, you guys take a look at them. Lisa has my email. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns i can explain some of the more medical jargon if necessary um you guys have my council report please excuse the february um I should say march on the month to date um argus one is down now um, there is a coolant leak somewhere it, I took it over to Moon and Matt this morning, so we will find out that. Um, I did meet with a striker representative. Um, and for a new cot, this was, he had quoted me for a stretcher that was pretty much like a, a showroom stretcher. It hadn't been used, but it was a discounted price because they take it and do demos with it. So for what we would need, and um, including, and I have a breakdown if you guys all want to see it or need a copy. Um, it would be a total of $20,034, and that's for the cot and the mount. The mount uh, that we currently have is not compatible. It could be, but it's not National Highway Association approved. So like if we, you know, Worst case scenario, if the ammo flips, that cot's coming down on everybody. Um, the, the bracket that would be installed would be, they're there. They're going to be hanging from the ceiling, but they're up there and they're safe. And then we're safe because we're not getting hit with that huge, heavy piece of machinery. Um, in the visit from the striker guy, we were, I was informed that the life pack 12s that we currently have will no longer be serviced come December 2019. And that is a defibrillator, that is a monitor for um, cardiac activity, pulse oximeter, it's a big piece of equipment we use every single call. And each of those are $25,000. We have two of them. And if we were to trade in our Life Pack 12s by the end of the year, we would get a $5,000 credit per unit. So for just the Life Packs, the grand total, if we were to trade in prior to the end of the year, would be $52,728. That's on top of the cot. Um, I did have him quote me some payment options for those life packs. Um, I know Dylan had mentioned a few meetings ago about some like different websites that might be willing to pay more than maybe $5,000 for a life pack like secondary, you know, 
so other countries and things like that that may be less developed. But we might look into that option. Um, I'll have to get with him and see what our options are. But um, again, I have the possibility too of payments for 24, 36, 48, or 60 months. So I have those that information as well if that was an option. Um, I do know in our donations budget, budget we have about $17,000, and that's where the cut was going to come from, and we can move around some money as needed, but it's the uh, life packs that were a surprise to me. So <clears throat> I guess I don't have any direction right now with that huge amount of money. Um, I can... I think you need to go ahead with the cop. Yes. I need to. I, need to. Yes. I mean, that's, that's been in your five-year plan. That should yeah. already been taken care of. Right. I'm just thinking the other two, I think we need to look at some options. So. Yes. The only thing on this water leak. Uh, this what? On your water leak on Andrew's one. Cool. Oh, cool. The diesel. There's a chance it could be a blown gas gas. Yeah. So okay. it's going to be expensive. Yes. That's something else that's going to have to be. <coughs> that be $52,000. You know, it's, it's like you inherited a nightmare. <laughs> And, uh, but, you know, it's just something we need to kind of keep in mind that if she comes back and says this was not just a water leak, it's major, we're going to have to come up with a way to get it fixed, too. Well, my experience with diesels and head gaskets is generally you can get them done for the south of $7,500 generally okay. if, they're, if the head's not cracked. I don't have the budget in front of me. I apologize. I, brought everything else but it but um, I, we have some areas that we might be able to pull from uh, especially we for once under staff might actually come in favor here because we budgeted for quite a few EMTs and pay and we can pull from that little section in the budget so um, I think we need to deal with one thing for I, I agree with let's get you caught and get it done yeah we got to get caught in then we'll deal with these defibrillators on down the road here. She's got on the rocks for five or six months before we got to really turn into a panic on the road. I wanted to bring it to your attention because it was a surprise for me that, and it's not just a we're not selling them anymore, it is a we're not servicing them right. after December. That's what was like. You might as well figure out 100000 for radios in the next year and a half, too. So. I'd like to make a motion to uh, allow Sarah to purchase the striker cod and the mount that goes with it. I'll second that. There's a motion and a second to go ahead and get the striker caught with Mallory. <coughs> Is there any other discussion? Not all in favor, second, five, second, aye. 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 Mm -hmm. Motion carried. Thank you. Anything else? No, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Sarah, to all of your work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been tremendous. Having this, <laughs> how many years have we asked for this? Mm -hmm. Couple. <laughs> All right. Yes, that's very well done too. Huh? It's a very rough draft, though. I well, know. you got to start somewhere, and I've been down this road with the police yeah. department. So. <laughs> Does anyone have any concerns? My phone number. I'm my mom's available. Nothing else for department heads. Motion to accept. I'd like to make a motion to accept all department head reports. Second. Ah, oh, she beat you. <laughs> all in favor? Signify or say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I got one thing before claims. Uh, American Legion came to me on the street, and I forgot it last meeting. During the festival, <coughs> they would like to know, they want to put on a car show. And if it oh. gets big enough, they would like to be able to shut down Indiana Avenue between 1st and Yerry. It affects no driveways. Because the apartment's parked behind and Jean doesn't drive, so it would be just that section between first mm -hmm. and Eric. There, the, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, during what festival? Yeah. During the town festival? Oh. The kickoff festival? Yeah. So they they, don't, they, want, to do it they want to have a car show over there. I know, but they don't want to do it in the park? No, they want to do it right over here. I can't answer that. Today was the first time he talked to me. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe I misinterpreted him. I took it. He wanted to do it in the park. Well, that's what hey, I was. Richard came to me and asked. They have a meeting tomorrow, and I attend their meeting. So, I mean, 
I can read it over to them and get this. Yeah, that's that's what they want. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Yeah. That was brought to me about closing the street down, and I said I'd bring it up to the council. So. Yeah. Okay, well, 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 I'm going to see well, I think they'd be better if they had it apart just because that's what the people are going Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dylan. Good enough. Claims. Okay. You need this? Okay. Derek's going to share, so. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Cheaper than a copper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See that box? Anyone else want to throw a hand over there? <laughs> yep, I'm going to hit you with the Okay, that's okay. what we got. The total docket is $76,535.81. The top five claims are as follows. Payroll number seven at $37,100. $2.57. Federal Reserve at $7,359.32. Jones Huff Jones at $3,870.10. Uh, Perf at $3,101.24. Rochester Cement Products at $2,867.50. The top five claims total $54,300.73 and represents 79% of the total docket. It was a very small docket. Yeah, but how did he get to the top of it? Because he's a very, it was a very small docket. When's the last time you saw a $76,000 docket? Never. Yeah. Any other shoulder step claims? I move to accept claims 402 through 447. I'll second. Any discussion or questions on the claims? Second. There's always been a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 For what? Why do you know? Approved. Motion carried. Adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. We need a do we? We need a holster. Any discussion? All in favor, in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Don't take off.